What if the ground beneath you started shaking violently? Imagine the unsettling sensation of the very earth you stand on, suddenly turning against you. This was the horrifying reality for the people of Western Japan on the first day of this year, as a monstrous earthquake of magnitude 7.6 struck the region. The Noto Peninsula bore the brunt of this unseen monster. Buildings crumbled, landslides were triggered, fires erupted, and the once serene coastline was thrashed by tsunami waves. The earthquake's epicenter, the point on the Earth's surface directly above where the earthquake starts, was located in the sea off the peninsula. The severity of the situation was immediately apparent, with the death toll rising to a staggering 126 individuals. This is the highest death toll Japan has seen from an earthquake since 2016. And the number is not just a cold statistic. It represents mothers, fathers, children, friends, and neighbors who were going about their daily lives, oblivious to the impending disaster. Life as they knew it was about to be cruelly disrupted by the unpredictable wrath of nature. The aftermath of the quake was a scene of chaos and devastation. Over 23,000 homes were left without power. Roads were torn apart, hindering relief efforts and isolating villages. Supply lines were cut, leaving water scarce and people desperate. Unpredictability is the defining characteristic of earthquakes. They strike without warning, leaving us humans helpless in their wake. We are at the mercy of the Earth's whims, unable to predict when or where the next monster will emerge from the depths. In the blink of an eye, life as we know it can be turned upside down. When the Earth finally stops shaking, the devastation becomes apparent. The chilling aftermath of the earthquake is a stark reminder of the raw power of nature. A magnitude 7.6 earthquake, an unseen monster, had shaken Japan's Noto Peninsula to its core leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The human toll of such a disaster is unimaginable. More than a hundred lives have been tragically cut short, and even now, over 200 souls remain unaccounted for. Every life lost is a story ended too soon, a family left in mourning, a community in despair. It's not just lives that have been lost. The physical scars of the disaster are spread across the landscape. Over 23,000 homes plunged into darkness, stripped of power. Roads once the lifeblood of communities are now disrupted, broken. The very infrastructure that once provided safety and comfort has been rendered useless, a stark reminder of the earthquake's destructive power. And then there are the villages, once vibrant and full of life, now isolated from the rest of the world. They are cut off, not just physically by damaged roads and collapsed bridges, but also from the vital resources they need to survive. The earthquake didn't just shake the earth, it shook the very fabric of these communities. Water, the essence of life, has become a scarce commodity. Power slowly is being restored along the coastline, but for many, the wait is agonizing. The earthquake has not only disrupted the physical world, but it has also disrupted the flow of life itself. The aftermath of an earthquake is a time of uncertainty and fear, but it's also a time of resilience and determination. The people of Japan, time and again, have shown their strength in the face of adversity. They have faced down the unseen monster and emerged stronger on the other side. The devastation doesn't stop when the shaking stops. The effects of the earthquake will be felt long after the earth has stilled, but as the dust settles, the spirit of resilience shines through. Even in the face of such devastation, there is hope. There is always hope. In Japan, earthquakes are a part of life, prompting readiness to be a part of their culture. In the face of such regular threats, the nation has taken extraordinary measures to ensure safety and survival during these natural disasters. At the heart of Japan's preparedness lies a robust and disciplined system of building regulations. These are not your everyday building codes, they're some of the strictest in the world, designed specifically to withstand the powerful forces unleashed by seismic activity. This means structures in Japan are built not just to stand, but to sway, absorbing and dissipating the energy of an earthquake, rather than crumbling under it. But a safe infrastructure is only one piece of the puzzle. Japan understands that the key to survival lies in the hands of its people. Thus, regular earthquake drills are a common part of life, from schools to offices to homes. These drills instill a sense of preparedness and resilience in the face of disaster. Imagine this, you're in Japan and suddenly your phone buzzes with an emergency alert. That's Japan's early warning system in action, a network designed to detect seismic activity and alert citizens even before the earthquake hits. This gives people precious seconds, if not minutes, to find safety. But what about when the shaking stops? 
That's where community preparedness and emergency kits come into play. The government emphasizes the importance of these kits, which include necessities like food, water, and medical supplies. They urge citizens to have these kits ready at all times, ensuring survival in the aftermath of a disaster. Japan's culture of preparedness is a result of lessons learned from past disasters. The country has continuously made improvements to its infrastructure and safety regulations, always evolving, always learning, always preparing for the next big one. However, this preparedness doesn't make the reality of earthquakes any less terrifying. Concerns about a future mega-quake and the potential for tsunamis loom large. But it's this very fear that drives Japan's commitment to readiness. Despite the devastation, the number of lives saved is testament to their preparedness. The recent earthquake was a grim reminder of nature's power, but also a testament to Japan's resilience and readiness. Facing the unseen monster with a steadfast spirit, Japan stands ready, always prepared for the next tremor that may shake its land. Behind the statistics are human lives forever altered. Each seismic event leaves an indelible mark on the human psyche, etching tales of survival, loss, and resilience into the annals of our collective memory. Imagine, if you will, a family gathered around the dinner table, a moment disrupted by the roaring tremors of the unseen monster beneath their feet. Their home, once a sanctuary, now a theater of terror. Take, for instance, the story of an elderly couple in the Hokuriku region. Their home, a testament to years of hard work and memories, was reduced to rubble within seconds. Yet, amidst the debris and despair, they found strength in each other, vowing to rebuild their lives from the ashes of devastation. The psychological impact of such a disaster is profound. The ground beneath us, often taken for granted as a symbol of stability, suddenly becomes an unpredictable threat. The survivors, even after the immediate danger has passed, continue to feel the echoes of the catastrophe in their minds. The sound of a door slamming shut or a car driving by can trigger memories of the earthquake, a reminder of the fragility of life. Communities rally together in the aftermath, their shared experiences fostering a sense of unity and resilience. Neighbors, once strangers, become lifelines. Stories of selflessness and bravery emerge from the rubble, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Children, the most vulnerable victims, bear the invisible scars of the trauma. Schools become more than just a place for learning. They transform into safe havens, where children can regain a sense of normalcy amidst the chaos. Yet there is a flip side to this coin. The same event that brings about loss and devastation also brings about an extraordinary display of human resilience. People rise from the ruins, dust themselves off, and start the long journey of rebuilding their lives. They find strength in numbers, in shared experiences, and in the hope of a better tomorrow. Each number represents a life, a story, a loss, and a survival. The impact of an earthquake extends far beyond the physical damage. It touches the very core of human existence, shaking our foundations. And yet, it also brings out the best in us, our capacity to endure, to rebuild, and to rise again. The question on everyone's mind is, what's next? The ominous dance of the tectonic plates beneath Japan is a haunting reminder of nature's unpredictable power. The future holds the possibility of more earthquakes and tsunamis, chilling reminders of past disasters such as Fukushima. The earth beneath the land of the rising sun is a sleeping giant and we are left to wonder when it will awaken next. The recent earthquake has left a trail of devastation that will take time to mend. Relief efforts are ongoing and the resilience of the Japanese people is shining through. However, the challenges are immense. Power and water supplies, the lifeblood of modern society, are slowly being restored. But in many places, the lights remain off and the taps run dry. Reaching isolated villages that have been cut off from the world by the earthquake is a Herculean task. Roads have been torn apart and the usual hum of life has been replaced by a deafening silence. In these places, the relief efforts are a race against time, as every passing hour could mean the difference between life and death. Yet, in the face of all this adversity, the spirit of the Japanese people remains undaunted. Their culture of preparedness and their unwavering resolve to rebuild are evident in every step taken towards recovery. They stand strong, ready to face whatever the future holds, even as the aftershocks continue to reverberate. In the grand scheme of things, we are reminded of our place on this vast planet. We are but temporary residents, dancing to the whims of the earth beneath our feet. But we are not helpless. We learn, we adapt, and we prepare. As we look to the future, 
We must remember the lessons that these earthquakes teach us. We must strengthen our infrastructure, bolster our preparedness, and nurture a spirit of resilience. For the earth may shake us, but it cannot break us. The ground may have stopped shaking, but the echoes of this disaster will be felt for years to come.